Opa, welcome back. You're Jack with Greek. And today, what are we going to cook? Castara. Yes, and as the Italians call them, castagna or chestnuts. However, today, you're dealing with Jack the Greek, so we're going to call them castana for the full episode. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to cook traditional castana chestnuts on the crossroad barbecue. We're going to have the crossroad barbecue with all four burners on low, and it should take us around 10 minutes. But what we're going to do, do a bit of a Jack the Green twist. Because not only are we going to make some beautiful gustana that you can have on a Friday night with a drink, but we're also going to make some gustana as a dessert. And yes, we're going to use some cinnamon, butter, brown sugar, but also, for the kids, some beautiful melted dark chocolate. Okay, so now, let's get our gustana, and let me show you how we're going to prepare them. Now, you grab a knife, grab your gustana, just like this, and just cut a small line through the middle like that. That's all you need to do. And then what we're going to do is, as we cut a few more, what we're going to cut close to about a kilo, we're not going to use all these. So, very simple, just cut them like that, and just have them a little bit open. Just like that. Oh, we lost one. That's okay, we've got plenty more here. So, cut a couple more, just like that. And what I'm going to do, is I'm going to use just an old pizza tray, and I'm going to put them on the crossroad barbecue. Okay, so we've got a couple more left to do, just before we fill our tray. And as you can see, we've we'll got a few in there, that's around a kilo. So it hasn't taken me long at all, just to cut them all up and slice them. About two or three minutes it's taken, doesn't take long at all. So there we go, we have our tray. And again, I've just used an old pizza tray with holes to put on the crossroad barbecue. Now what I'm going to do, oh bus, it's ready to go. I'm going to put them in, just like that. And I'm going to be checking them every couple of minutes and giving them a bit of a shake with my towel, just to make sure that they are moving around and they're not just going to burn from the bottom. So it won't take long, two minutes in, two minutes out, give a bit of a shake and uh, within 10 minutes we should have our gustana all ready to go. It's been around three minutes now, let me show you how our gustana are going. If you come and look closely, look at that. Oh, bass, they're starting to open up. So all you need to do is give them a little bit of a shake, just like this. That's it, move them around. That's it, beautiful. And put them back in. Give that another two or three minutes, and we'll do that again. Okay, we're nearly done now. It's been around 10 minutes. Let's have a last peek and look to see how our beautiful chestnuts, our castana, are going. And as our Italian friends would say, castagna. All right, I think they're all done. Look at that. Beautiful. Look at them there. Nice and golden and brown. Okay, so let's sit them there, so they can cool down, while we get our desserts ready, before we plate up. So the first dessert we're going to make is our traditional cinnamon, brown sugar with butter, coated chestnuts. Now let me show you how we're going to do that. We'll grab our cinnamon, that's about a tablespoon there, just in there. Then we'll grab our brown sugar, that's about a tablespoon and a half, close to two. And then we have around two tablespoons of butter. So we're going to put that in there. And you're going to ask, what are we going to do now? Well, that's why we've got the crossroad barbecue. We can do everything that we'd like on the crossroad barbecue. We're just going to sit that, just like that, just a little bit. We're going to hold the edge and carefully just let the butter warm up and melt. And what that will do is then create our beautiful syrup. Oh, I just dropped my towel. Leave it there for a couple of seconds. A couple more. And that should be enough now for us to, to mix it up. And we'll give it a good mix, just like this, and you can see how it's melting. Just like that. There we go. Back on here for a couple of seconds. Keep it moving. And there we go. We've got our, our beautiful cinnamon brown sugar syrup just there. And what we're going to do with that is put it to the side for a sec while we clean a few of our chestnuts. And as you can come back now and have a little close look, you can see how easy they are to come out. Just like that. Beautiful. Look at this. Opa. There we go. So that's how easy it is, ladies and gentlemen, to make some beautiful chestnuts and how easy it is to clean them when you cook them perfectly on the Crossray barbecue. Our first thing we're going to plate up is our traditional meal chestnuts plain and simple 
barbecued chestnuts. We put them on a plate just like this, and you're going to say, "What's the big deal?" Well, help me. Let me show you a Jack the Greek special. So on a Friday night, you've come out on the Crossroad barbecue. You've made a few gustana, a few chestnuts, just like this. Put a few more. And you're thinking, well, that looks a bit plain. Well, Jack the Greek, on a Friday night, what does he have with chestnuts? Opas. You'll have, a, you'll have a scotch. And yes, Christian and Paul, this one's dedicated to you guys. Put a little bit of scotch, just like that. And enjoy a Friday night meal, just like that. So that's our first one. We're going to leave that there. Now, as we are, we can continue now and continue cleaning our chestnuts. And just peel them all, all the way, just like that. As you can see, look what I've got in front of me. Some really peeled castana. Yep, chestnuts for the Aussies and a castagna for the Italians. That's it. Now, what I had, as you can see, we made our first dish, which is a traditional castana with a scotch. You can have it with a bit of rum, you can have it with a bit of port, you can have it with a beer. Jack the Greek, it's going to be a scotch. Now, we've cleaned all these, you can ask why. Because we had a, we had a request on Facebook by our friend Viv, she wanted a dessert. So, I'm making gastana, so I've got to make a gastana dessert. So, here we go. Let's get our plates ready. We're going to make two different desserts. The first one we're going to make is the one that we started a little bit earlier which was the one with the cinnamon, the brown sugar, and the butter. So we had the, our ingredients here. We're going to put them back on the crossway barbecue, just for around 30 seconds, just like that, just to warm it up again. And that shouldn't take too long. The next one we're going to make is, ah, for the kids, like I said before, with dark chocolate. So, that should be ready now. Let's quickly have a look and see how it's going. Ah, yes. Beautiful. Give it another five or six seconds in there. Like that, and don't forget it's very hot, so we've got to make sure that we don't burn our fingers. Okay, as you can see, our beautiful syrup has now melted, and we didn't need any gas top, we didn't need any side burner. We used our crossroad barbecue and we used the top grill. So, what we're going to do is grab some of these and just put them inside, just like that. It's still a bit warm, but we can sit it there now and put them in, just like this. Beautiful, just like that. And we're going to give them a mix. And what will happen is, the syrup, the sugar, the cinnamon, the butter, will go, will, will cover these beautiful chestnuts. And then, it will harden after a while. So what we're going to do is, we're going to just plate them up like this for now. Just like this. Opa, look at that. Look at this. Beautiful. Oh. Okay. You wouldn't expect the Crossbray Barbecue to have a menu as far out as making you a dessert. But yes, with Jack the Greek and his imagination and the pressure from his friend Viv to put a dessert on the Crossbray Barbecue, he's managed to make some beautiful chestnuts with cinnamon. We'll put a few more. Cinnamon, brown sugar, and butter and these will be fabulous as a side dessert with any meal that you want to cook on the crossroad barbecue there we go now the one the kids have been waiting for the chocolate again we're going to do this on the crossroad barbecue there we go grab our dark chocolate the dirt check the greeks favorite is dark chocolate and we're going to be very careful with the chocolate as we all know when we cook and we're just going to rest it again on the crossroad barbecue just there for a couple of minutes oh, I shouldn't say minutes probably about 30 seconds we'll put our dish over there there's our next one test here so let's plate up the rest of our chestnuts our castagna and our castana as well, just like this. We've got them all there. Beautiful. Put that away. Give that a quick wipe, just like that. And let's get ourselves ready. 
Okay, beautiful. This is starting to warm up now, and as we know, you don't need a lot of time for chocolate, but you can see it's starting to melt. And that's what we want. We don't want it too long. And of course, we are cooking outdoors. We're not gonna worry about thermostats and temperature gauges. We're just gonna use our best judgment. Another 10 seconds or 15 seconds, and it should be right to go. If you're coming close, we've just got our chocolate just about ready. Look at that. And we didn't need any gauges, any temperatures, any thermometers, Jack the Greek, outdoors on the Crossroad barbecue. Look at this chocolate that is made. Beautiful. And what we're gonna do is just put it straight in to our little containers. Oh, look at that. Look at that beautiful dark chocolate. And thank you. Thank you again for Nestles, I think it is. It's provided this chocolate straight from Woolworths. Oh, it's just like that. And there we go. Viv, Christian, I've made your wish come true today. I've cooked you your castagna in Greek, our castana for the Aussies, chestnuts in three different ways. First way, traditionally, as I said, with a scotch or a port, a dessert for the kids with some beautiful dark melted chocolate. And this is a bit of a dessert, the cinnamon, butter and brown sugar option here. And don't forget, we have our little picks here for the mums who just don't want to mess up their hands. So let's put these in here while we clean up a little bit, just like that, on either side. Just like that there. So they can use instead of using their fingers. So we've got that there. We can put this away now, and this as well. And there we go. Three beautiful meals, once again, cooked on the Crossray barbecue, with all four burners on low, in around 15, 20 minutes, by Jack the Greek. Opa.